Previously, on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. This is something I have to do alone. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Clementine. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! No, Lee. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you... I choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't a kidnapping, Lee. Then what is it? A rescue. What? A rescue? What kind of rescue are you talking about? Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Not great. My hand is hot. It's thumping a little bit. You seem okay for now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Let's see what we can do. What's Just this? surgical supplies. <laughs> Nothing. Lee is kind of the smartest one, isn't he? What is that? Rib spreader. Oh, no, thank you. Is there anything up here? I can't get my hands in between the doors. <gasps> Rib spreader. Okay. Am I gonna shoot? The I can shoot the elevator. What a choice. Looks like a car jack. Imagine this being used on a body. Ah, uh, man. Uh, how much time do I have on this bite? <clears throat> I don't want to think about it. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Uh, that's 
pretty smart. about trying to save him at the very least buy him some time by chopping his arm off <gasps> that's a good idea do we know it works we don't know anything we know there's going to be a lot of blood there's going to be a shitload of blood what if he dies then the rest of us go after clementine and get the hell out of savannah let's do it maybe it'll work it's a big risk yeah we're down here without a lot of options. Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. <sighs> you guys were gonna cut it off a second ago. What's the difference in me being awake? Easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. I'll go as fast as I can. You got <laughs> Try to stay still. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's bad. That's bad. I can't imagine that. I can't even imagine. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine that. Fuck. Holy shit. Holy hell. We thought maybe we'd lost you. You've been out a while, man. It's so bad. But maybe now I got more time. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. Can I take my watch at least? I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Jeez. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. Okay, good plan. Is it possible for you? Oh, yeah. definitely. Keep going. Yeah, I'm okay. Quiet. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's no big deal. Another arm would just get in the way. Jesus Christ. Just gotta keep quiet. Just gotta keep quiet. Why do I have my cursor up? Is something bad about to happen? Can you imagine this? Come on, Lee, move faster. Jesus. 
Mercedes has a lot of them. That is a lot of them, wow. No help, uh-oh. Hey, we're in a hospital? Oh, Crawford must have a hospital. That makes sense. Because they said they were under Crawford, so... Okay. Remember when Savannah was empty? Yeah, I guess that makes Those sense. Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. We need to get off this roof as fast as we can. It's not safe down there. We can't just walk through the streets. You planning on growing some wings? It's taking an immense amount of willpower to not make a crack about that suggestion, coming from the one-armed man. That joke will be <laughs> funnier once we know if this worked. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Yep, good. Good. Sounds fair. I... Uh... I don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He what? lost a lot of blood down there. If you find yourself getting winded, or worse, you gotta let us know. Well, it wasn't my favorite hand anyway. Well, you haven't lost your spirit. Seriously, though. Don't treat me any different. I got one goal, you hear me? Yeah, we do. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Yep. Now, let's get our bearings. Oh, boy. Ooh, a ladder. Look at that. Isn't that perfect? Some paint? I don't want paint. It's an extension ladder. Can I take it? No, I can't. Okay. Let's talk to Kenny. Ooh, what's down there? That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. See anything? Nah, I'm just, uh... Uh, it's taken a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't. What's going on? That's just everything. Fuck, man. You know. I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are right now. And I can't imagine Cat and Duck and all this mess. Kid. No. No, I I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Okay. Can I climb down there? Here's a way down. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wasn't wandering the streets down there. <laughs> Okay, well, it's definitely not an idea. Maybe could we have someone ring the bell? Let's go see. So this ladder doesn't work. Where's Molly when you need her to start, um, what was it called? Ringing bells. Okay, I don't need to talk to... Oh, yeah, okay. Here's a bell tower. What's up over here? Bell tower. I have an idea. That's what's up. Huh. Yeah. We ring the bell and that go down the help. fire escape. That's a bell tower. Like the ones Molly used to draw the walkers around the city. Geniusly. Hey. How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? 
Okay. So what if I go and ring the bell and then we go on the fire escape? How am I gonna... Oh, the ladder. Okay, let's go get that ladder. I better be able to grab it. I don't know what else would make that. That makes such perfect sense. Yep, here we go. Ooh, buddy. Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Damn it. Oh, shit. The bells. Yeah, could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. I like that. Ah, that's smart. That's logical. Because if I if it falls and I die, it's like I might I might die anyway. So why the hell are we letting the one arm guy do all the high risk maneuvers? Because the one arm guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thank you, Ken. Any any ladder anyone goes on is rickety, and if it's not rickety, you're not doing your job. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Run, 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 run! Oh well, at least I got a walker. Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit! Try to find another way out of there. This is the one we let. It's locked. We shit. Drop Ben into the exit in here's locked. Am I just gonna have to jump to the other side? Man, where's Molly? I need Molly right now. I need her to save me. A few solid rings of this, and there'll be thousands down below. Okay, now get to that fire escape. They're coming this way! Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! Oh goodness. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. You got this. You got this, motherfucker. <laughs> Get a running start first, yeah? Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Oh my gosh. Good goddamn leap, pal. Whoa. Let's get the hell off this roof. Yeah, look at that. Oh, we're genius. I'm a genius, should I say. Uh oh. What? Wait, what? Why are you shooting? Retracting people. Please tell. Uh oh. Holy. What the fuck? Come on, just come the fuck on. Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey guys, Lee's right. It was Vernon and that support group. No fucking way. The invalids? Their actions, uh, 
contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their Make-A-Wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! I can't believe they did this to us. It's sick. It really is. They use your goddamn sympathy for sick folks and then stab us right in the back! They didn't use shit. They did what anybody would have done. They've been living like ghosts forever and they were fed up. That's it. He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! We should have kept the keys or Omid, something. Can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourselves. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. There's other shit at play, all right? Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Yeah. We gotta get out into some open spaces. You know that's what I'm for. This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh my goodness. Oh shit! Here they come! In the house! Come on, man. I can't catch a break. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Omi. <laughs> what is it? <gasps> front doors. <laughs> They don't have the collar. How is it open? Cheating. They're cheating. Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off. There's got to be a knife or something in there. Hurry! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, boy. We didn't notice this before? Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Is that Bree? Oh my god. Peace be with you. Guys, help me with this! Come on, 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 Everyone get to the end of the hallway. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This will slow down. Get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. Can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. We also have the attic, so we can... Three. Five. Four. You all know where to aim. Get ready. Oh boy. Oh, 
Well, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Me too. Fuck. Where do we go? The attic. Oh, goddamn opening. Up. Go. Stop on the cleaver, Lee. Close it, close. Thank you. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon <laughs> Kent the Third, Industrial... Need? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. I'm okay. Don't. I'm okay. I'm wearing pants. No. What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it. We're trapped in here. Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're really, all so man? worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I will! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut <laughs> up, sweetie. Look. What is it? It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No, this man... Well, let's do it. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I'm sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. Ugh. My goodness. Everyone just needs to calm I'm glad you down. You told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. 
That's that's all that matters. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us, which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared that. shitless. I uh, and when it happened, I panicked, but now I feel it inside me, like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. <laughs> I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. Yeah, you don't save mean Clem. It. So nope. when we get this guy, what do you think? We just get plenty of time. That's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? It's okay. The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that working? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't that's given true, up. That's true. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, hon. You can hop in after me. <laughs> Just keep busting the wall down, bud. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently chopped. <laughs> so, no, Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. Take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's <sighs> happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. <laughs> this guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily. Lewis. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. You gotta help kind of take the edge off a little bit. Okay. Something wrong? Why'd you look I'm down? Through. Nice. No walkers. Things are looking up. Let's go. Good job. Everyone keep a goddamn okay, eye. Okay, you guys. That is gonna be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know down below what you think. And as always, folks. Have this a place nice seems day. Sealed off.